Hello everyone, this is Jovial Developer here. I got a new uh, computer monitor and so for this video I'm going to do an unboxing video. I have not done an unboxing video before. Um, I will pause this recording just so I can readjust my hands on the camera and stuff. But I'm going to be opening a 4K monitor from AOC. It is a 27 inch LCD computer monitor. This is not the tower or any other special parts of the computer. It's just the monitor. So uh, let's. Uh, here's the front of it. You know, it just shows one, two angles of the monitor there. This is an IPS, and it has lots of other features about it. Okay, almost. I think there's a couple pieces of tape on the side. See if that does it. There's one tab. Looks like there's a little bit more tape on this one. The other tab. Okay. I don't think I've ever spent this much on something that's not an actual computer. So here's a display port cable. This is display port to display port end. And here is HDMI cable, HDMI to HDMI, so that's useful. And this third cable is power supply. Okay, so Let me think for a minute, because I want to be careful taking this out. Okay, it's officially out of the box. Let's see if this is the... Okay. There's one part, and I have to put this stand together. So, I think what I'll do instead is put that part together myself, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all put together. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Um, I wanted to show you this. There's this button here that you push. You can see these little tabs, they come in and out so it can be properly mounted. So obviously you want to mount the end to the monitor before you put the stand on. And it goes in like this. You push the front end and then you push it down. You push that button and... Now it's, now it's holding in place. All right, cool. So let's try to get this on here. I'm gonna, 
going to be careful here. Oh, okay. So you see that and you hear the click, click, click. Okay, let's finish the setting it up. I'm going to put the computer back on my lap. Okay. Okay, so here's the power. Yeah, one says HDMI 1, one of them says HDMI 2. Um, one of these settings is better than the other one. And then here is your display port. So I'll turn that over real quick so you can see the ports. Don't know if this is good enough light. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to try it on the HDMI 1 setting and see if that's good enough. Plug it in. Plug this in. Side. button. Oh, pretty. All right, I'm going to finish taking off the tape on this. Maybe this is entertaining to some. <laughs> it's still pulling the tape off. So this can play games. Um, this can't do like your one millisecond or your three millisecond, like highly intense games, but this can this can play everything up to those games, pretty much. Here's this last piece of tape on the front. And then, so that's one part, and then this is the very, very last part on the front. Oh, shoot. That's that Energy Star tape. I thought there was a sticker on there. Perfect. And then there's one more piece of tape back. And there we go. It's officially unwrapped. Well, what do you guys think? I seem to like it. I'm using a computer mouse. Pretty responsive. The setting that I have it on right now is just to reflect HDMI setting. I think if I go into settings, I can tell it to be an extension of my original screen. So let's see what we got with that. Okay. Now you can change the resolution settings on it. Yeah, the highest resolution this has is 3840 by 2160. It's really close to 4K. Aha, uh -huh, this says duplicate these displays. I can change this to extend these displays. Yes! Okay, check this out.
So I'm going to hit keep changes on this. I'll show you. Minimize this. So here's my left side of my screen. And if I move the mouse over. Now it's all the way there. See there and then there. And then doop. And then I don't know if I can go all the way down here and start to get it over. Yeah, it goes over fine. Cool. Absolutely no problem with any kind of like a dead space on that end. I think I like this. One reason that I got this is, you know, the big screen space is nice because um, a lot of people work with two screens, but with this being 27 inches, it's like working with two screens because it's so big. Um, that's definitely my first impression with it. Also, this is um, VESA compatible. There was a piece of metal between the between the back of the monitor and the stand that I hooked it into and I pushed that button to lock it in. Um, I think if you can use that piece of metal in between to um, hook something up to it. So you can hook this up to a uh, an arm or you can hook it to the wall and use it that way. And I'm also going to do another test. I want to see if I can use it on this display as well. Even though I showed you this display in the other video, I'm wondering if I can extend that display in addition. Okay, so I hear two, two screens turning on. Okay, one of them is an extension of the other one, but we can change that in settings. Um, this is the left, so it's all do it's all a duplicate right now. So let's change the settings to back to extend. Yeah, I can tell the middle one is two, and this one's one. So. Now what I'll show is I'll show you. There's two. And then there's three. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so this is a lot of extra screen space now. Probably won't use all of this space, at least not right away. I thought it would be cool to do an unboxing video. Um, if you like this, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll try to I'll try to get along more with the coding videos. I definitely should have some better have some better uh, momentum with it now that I have a bigger have a bigger and more clear screen with this AOC. All right, so I noticed that I forgot to do one part where I test windows on this. So I wanted to pop up a couple of windows, and my cat just run across in front of me. What do you want, huh? All right, so cat's checking out what I bought. You need to, you need to go. You need to get off my desk. I thought to take one more minute here and to show you some actual use with the, with the display. So I put up some windows here just to kind of show you what it would look like if you were, you know, multitasking. So this one. On the left is, you know, doing some some coding of some sort, you know, using ASP.NET. Um, this is like auto-generated if you create a new project or something like that. Um, but 
Oh, also, I should say that this is on HDMI 2 setting as well. And I will say it is much sharper than it is on HDMI 1. And here's a here's an Excel sheet. It looks pretty sharp on there. And then here is like if you're looking at a nice picture of some sort. That's uh, downtown New Orleans. There's another picture. Yeah, that's not good. And then here's some HTML with a white background. Shows up pretty sharp and you can zoom in, zoom out, and it'll still look pretty good. Uh, I would recommend kind of zooming in a little bit if you're at a higher resolution so you can see well. This model does have the blue light as well. So that's like the blue light assistance for your eyes. So this this can help you with that. But yeah, that's the end of my video. Uh, I just had to uh, put it out of the box and turn it on and show you how to do some of the installation parts correctly. Some of the features you can do on your laptop and stuff. And I I like this. I like the screen space on it. Because it, it makes me feel like I don't need two monitors now. But... But yeah, hopefully you like this video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, have a good day. Okay, have a good one.